Hello, welcome to the A3ES tutorial for evaluators. This tutorial will focus on how evaluators can register on the new A3ES platform and how they can accept nominations for specific external assessment teams. We will begin by covering the workflow from the perspective of new evaluators, which are evaluators that have not yet registered on the online system. We will cover that registration, we will then discuss the system interface, and I will give you some pointers on how to use it, and then we will talk about accepting specific nominations. We will then cover the perspective of returning evaluators, which will only have to accept specific nominations. Registration is triggered by the receipt of an email from A3S. Let's take a look at a few important sections contained in the email. The email is first written in Portuguese, and then if you scroll down, you can see the text in English. It contains important information regarding the program you have been invited to evaluate. It then contains a template message saying that you have been nominated for the external assessment team, and that first, you need to accept to be part of our online system, and afterwards, you can accept or not to be part of the team that will be assessing this specific program. Then there's a section where your project coordinator will leave some customized uh, text. So something specific to this particular program. To register on the A3ES platform, you will need to access the hyperlink that is provided in the email. It's both found here in the Portuguese section and also here in the English section. So let's do that. We are now taking a look at the first page that you see once you click the hyperlink on the email. The text is written in Portuguese, but here on the upper left corner, you can switch the text to English. Okay. So uh, let's keep it in Portuguese. So you have been invited to be a part of the information system as an expert. If you accept, you will then be able to decide whether you want to be part of a specific external assessment team. So I will now accept this invitation. Once you've accepted the invitation to join the A3S online system, you are presented with a page that has a series of sections that need to be completed. Important sections include your name and email. So we request that you include your full name so that we can easily uh, find you in our database. And then the email that you wish to have associated with your account. You have to create a password, et cetera. There's a few specific pieces of information regarding banking information that are necessary so that you can then receive your stipend after collaborating with us. So these are all pretty standard address, et cetera. And then there's a section for you to insert either your ORCID or your Ciencia Vitae number or your CV. So you may already see this completed when you enter this page, or if it's completely blank, we kindly request that you choose one of these and insert the appropriate information. Once you've inserted all the information in the respective sections, you may save the data and accept the invitation. Just a gentle reminder that you may switch at any time the language of the page by clicking on the English button on the top left corner. So let's save and accept. This message says your account has been created successfully. You may now enter the platform through the login button. So I'm going to click OK. And this is the landing page inside your personal area in the A3ES platform. Once on the landing page of the A3ES platform, you have the capability of editing the personal data you provide us. So if you access the tab that says personal data, you will again find the form that you had to complete during registration. And so at any point in time, you may edit this to update as needed. Regarding the access to the programs that you have under evaluation, you can find those under this option on the left-hand side. So we have here the files associated with each evaluation. 
and they have also been divided by their status. So files that are not completed and thus have not been archived versus files that have been archived and all the files or all the processes. Either of these will get you to the place where you need to go next. So let's click here. Once you enter the area that contains all the programs that you are evaluating, you have two main sections. One of them, this gray and black bar, contains several options for searching through your various programs, either by name or by case number. And then the second section is a table in which you will have all the programs of which you are an evaluator of organized by row. So in this case, this evaluator only has one program uh, which um, they are assessing. This table contains a series of informative columns. These include the number of the program, so the code number, the name of the higher education institution, the name of the actual program, and then here under the workflow column, the table will say the stage of the workflow in which this particular program is at. You, as a new evaluator, have now the task of accepting or declining the nomination for a specific external assessment team. Now, this is important. The way to enter a specific file is by clicking this squiggly line right here. If you click anywhere else, in the row, nothing will happen. So you really must click here. So we enter in the specific area of that program for which you are currently being invited. There's a series of uh, important bits of information that characterize the program under assessment. And then what you see here is a table of all of the experts that have been invited to assess that program. And you are one of these experts. So you can see right here in the profile area, this says user profile, and you have been nominated as the president of the external assessment team. For our international evaluators, a reminder that you can switch the language of the web page by clicking the English button, um, and most of the content of the page will switch to English. So at this point in time, um, you again see all the experts that have been invited, and you have two possible actions. You may accept your nomination or you may decline it because there's some sort of impediment. So if there is something that um, prevents you from participating as an evaluator in this assessment, so a conflict of interest or something else, then we kindly ask that you um, say so in these text boxes. So one of the text boxes is meant to be in English, the other one in Portuguese. Of course, if you can't write in Portuguese, just you should be able to just put a placeholder here and, and submit it. In our case, and for uh, demonstration purposes, I'm going to accept the nomination. I just click this button and it's asking me, are you sure? The answer is yes. After you have accepted uh, your nomination, please note that you still have not gained access to any evaluation materials. So nothing really changed in, in this um, display. And the reason why that happens is because all the members of the external assessment team have to accept their nomination. And at that point, the institution responsible for the program under assessment will then be notified of the assessment team that will evaluate their program. The institution must then state their agreement with the composition of this team. Only then, only after the institution agrees with the composition of the external assessment team, will then you and all the other committee members be granted access to the evaluation materials. In the case of returning evaluators, the process of accepting a nomination is much simpler because they have already registered on the A3S platform. Returning evaluators will be notified of their nomination through an email similar to that received by the new evaluators, with the main difference being that the link contained in this email will be a direct link to the logging page 
of the A3S platform. Here I have an example of the nomination email. And just as I mentioned previously, it contains a hyperlink for the login page of the platform. We are going to access the link. At this point, I'm going to enter the login information of a returning evaluator. Once the evaluator enters their own personal area, they should be able to see all the files or assessments they have been assigned to. So in this case, we see a series of test uh, programs. So in this case, I'm going to enter test um, five. And I am now able to, again, either accept or decline the nomination to be an evaluator for this particular program. We have now reached the end of our tutorial. So in this tutorial, we introduced you to the new A3S platform and help you through the motions of registering and accepting or declining nominations for external assessment teams. Um, thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, please direct them to your project coordinator. Once again, thank you for joining me and have a wonderful day.